the North Western Railway, a steam heritage site or mainline you might ask. The railways that serve the Isle of Sodor are now the only ones that still use steam as a primary form of traction, after British Railways modernised their stock in honour of diesel and electric. Some of Sir Tom Wait, hold on. I recognise that engine. Seems familiar. Ah, uh, it can't be. There's plenty of 14xx engines around. Unlikely that's the one I'm thinking of. I stare stock in honour of diesel and electric. Some of Sir Topham Hatt, controller of the railway's engines, have been on the line since its earliest days. Like this one, for example. Number one, the well-known Thomas the Tank engine. Well, I was built in Brighton at the turn of the century, but I've worked here all my life. First as station pilot, and now as main engine on the Farquhar branch. It's the most important part of the whole network, and I'm relied on to be the most useful I can be for my passengers. However, unlike Thomas, some engines have only lived on the island for a few years, after being salvaged from the modernised mainland. Engines such as numbers 9 and 10, Donald and Douglas, who used to be numbered 5, 7, 6, 4, 6 and 7. Also, engines like XBR number 1436, Oliver, who arrived complete with Great Western Auto Coach and 20 ton brake van. X number 1436? No wonder I recognise him. That's my engine. He was meant to be scrapped. How could he have survived? That's it. I'm heading back to Sodor. Getting back the engine that's rightfully mine. He'll be worth a fortune in scrap value.